Okay, while well, I've put the first coat of varnish on this, I'm again using that weather wash varnish. I really like this stuff, even though this is not its intended purpose, but I keep using it because I really like it. It's water-based, very easy to apply, and it dries so even. Um, I'm pretty impressed because I have used polycrylic before, and I didn't like using a brush with it because it seemed like I didn't get a very even finish. And I'm actually using the same brush I did when I would use polycrylic, but this stuff somehow flows so much better. And so I'm so happy with it, I keep going back and using it. However, I was agonizing over doing this because I wanted to keep the Paduk as bright as possible since it naturally darkens regardless of what you do to it. If you put it in sunlight, it's gonna darken much quicker, of course. So I was agonizing on whether or not I was gonna put some uh, Danish oil on it, which is my favorite go-to oil finish, but I knew it would darken it. And I also knew that a clear is gonna put some little bit of darkness to it when you wet in the wood, it always gets a little bit darker. So I was smart for once, and I first did a sample piece. This is the same Paduk as this board. Um, so I put Danish oil on this, and then I put the varnish on this, and you can see the dramatic difference, how uh, much darker that went right away, and that's just with oil. And I was still gonna put varnish over that. So the second tip I wanted to give was that whenever you use a water-based product, whether it's the polycrylic that I usually use, or this varnish, when you put your first coat on, of course, it raises the grain. And it's good practice to sand after that first coat. And then from that, you're good to go. Well, what I found I like to use, rather than straight sandpapers, I like to use one of these scotch Bright pads. I call them Scotty pads. You know, sandpaper tends to clog or might grab a little piece, and then as you're trying to sand, I found a couple times I've gouged my finishes. I found with these, you get much better results, and you can just kind of tap it and get the gunk right off of it. So that's what we're gonna do right now. I've got a full coat on all surfaces. And so now I'm gonna do a quick little sanding down and then start applying the multiple coats. I'll do about three. Three seems to be perfect with these water-based products. Um, they even tell you use three. You can go more, but um, I think three will be fine. 